Hi everyone, this is Anne of Blooming Crafts. Ladies, I want to share with you this fabric journal that I made today. And this is actually the first time I uh, made this kind of journal, guys. I went to a book binding workshop in um, my country and I took a class, guys. And you know, I never really interested in book binding. Lots of my friends here, they do book binding, but I don't really like that because I don't want to cut like all the pages, you know. But this time the teacher offered this lace um, journal and the whole journals, um, all the pages are made from fabric. So I'm so interested in this. So I took this class and I really like um, what I learned. So this is um, what I made, guys, the whole book is from fabric and we use linen to make um, the pages so it looks like this okay and then we just decorated the inside um, with laces I didn't know that we could bring our own stuff you know people lo some people they took so many classes with this teacher before so um, they know what to do they brought their own stuff and their books came out like so amazing and I'm so jealous because I had to use what he had to offer and you know it's str I struggle a little bit because um, I wish I had more laces um, with me but um, it's all right so I'm gonna show you the inside later and this is the stitches that we made it's just simple stitches guys so easy to make but don't ask me to show you how to do it because I couldn't remember <laughs> if I'm going to do this again. I have to ask the teacher how to do it. So, um, you know, but it's fun and I love the way that it makes the pages like really nice and tight together. And you're never going to lose these pages, you know, because um, you stitches them like really nice and tight together like that. So um, inside, this is the cover, guys. I don't like it at all. Let me tell you the truth because I didn't know what to do with it. So I try to put um, whatever they have, but I'm going to make something more um, for the top here. Inside these pages, um, we just have to glue it down. But before, I think I'm going to make um, a little pocket here. And this is the next page. Looks like this. Next one, I'm going to show you real quick before, um, you know, I put some more stuff on this. I might add pictures, I don't know, but looks like this. This one, pretty nice laces, right? And this one, and these pages, guys. Um, the teacher said we can just glue it together, I mean glue the pages together, or you can decorate it each individual pages. But I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to stitch these two pages and make pockets for tags. So I don't know how many pockets I can have here, maybe two. Um, not sure, but let's see. Um, so this is the next pages. Looks like that. And that's that guys so on the back just simple like that so um, I want to show you what I made before I decorated it more alright so um, I'm gonna work with this journal and I'm gonna show you what I did um, later okay ladies I'm back and I finished redecorating this book um, I actually finished this um, last week you know just a day or two after I um, went to the workshop but I have um, other videos to upload before this one so I just um, made um, the video today and this is how I decorated the book you can see um, I did it like change a lot you know I wanted to look really sweet and pretty and girly because I like that kind of look and so what I did I tore whatever I glue on um, the cover you know when I made it with the teachers out and I made these flowers using some lace and then um, I just lay it like different things on here I use some little burlap here and these are just um, uh, some flowers you know it's like a trim and I cut it in half so I can glue one one in here and then one piece here and then um, I put these laced on the edge here and I use this one here I really love this one um, some of the laces are in my stash you know um, and over here I found these button and I think it's a vintage button from my mom's dress or something 
and you know she didn't use it she didn't know where it came from so I thought it would be nice to put it here because it looks really pretty you can see like there are like this size inside the button and I love it it's like a leaf wine so pretty so this is the cover of my book I try to keep it pretty simple you know um don't want it to look too busy and then on the back um, I keep this lace but I just add these um, pale pink eyelid lace um, on here too and what I did to the laces guys I want it to look um, pretty vintage and the color wouldn't like stand out so much you know because these um, fabric is kind of like um, vintage looking so um, I just I'm so lazy I don't want to tea dye these laces so I just use um, um, the glimmer mist to um, change the colors a little bit and okay so um on the inside um this part here i stitches um you know i did the stitches around the edge of the book and i also stitch this little pocket in here guys my sewing skill is pretty bad so if you look closely um it's gonna look so bad but over here i use brow thread and on these pink layers i use some pink thread you know so it wouldn't show and it looks really nice so it's a little pocket and i can add these um little tag here this is a tag that all the tags here i cut out from um it's the creative scrap um, paper guys from crafty secrets you know the heartwarming um, collection and I bought these a long time ago I didn't want to use it but it looks so pretty with these books so I put it like I use them here so this one is a little cupid so and over here um, I just cut these two pieces out and I just punch holes and you know put um, the laces um, through the holes to make um, a little I don't know how you call this thing but you can slip things behind here so I cut the tags out I don't want to throw it away so you can just um, slip the tags behind here let's see how come it doesn't come out <laughs> well anyway you know um, you got the idea and then the next page I keep it pretty simple guys because I don't want to cover all the laces up so um, I just punch holes and tie little tags here and this one looks like this and I distressed the edge of the paper too and over here I didn't do anything to this page at all because I love the laces um, on this page and I wanted to keep it that way but um, you know I sew two pages together to make little pockets oh I didn't sew I mean I just um, use glue and so I have little pockets here and I use this tag I made this tag like a long while ago and you know I don't want to throw it away so I can just insert it in there and then the next page looks sorry the camera got cut off ladies so um this page I keep it really simple I didn't really do anything to it um I just add this little applique piece that I got from crystal in our swap I love it a lot and I cut a little piece out and I actually dye it um some pale pink color and this is the fabric um that I just tie into bows and I love the fray edges like that I don't mind at all guys that the whole book's like fraying <laughs> but I just love it so um I try what I try to do guys because the cover I add this pink um flower here so I try to spread the pink throughout the the, the book I don't want any page to look like too dark you know so try to um make it looks like coordinate and all the pages are like all together I don't know how to say but I think you understand what I what I mean right um so that's what I did to this page and this one I keep it really simple too I just add some more laces that I have in my stash and I punch hole and tie this little tag here and um this this one I can write notes or you know nice quotes or saying I don't know um and on the back it said love letters looks like that really cute and it's actually a little pocket here so um i can add more tags in there and then the last two pages this one i didn't do anything to it at all i might glue some pictures on later if i find some nice vintage looking one um but for now i'll leave it like that and this page um it's the last page and what i did um, I stitches these two laces here to make little pocket. The pocket is here, but these these lace just like help keep the tag in place, guy. And I tie the fabric there too. 
and you can see my stitching is like <laughs> so bad see it's not even straight but <laughs> I like how it looks so I don't mind and this is the tag that I put in there and I really like it it said um, right through life with me the best is yet to be such a cute saying and um, let me show you this is the one that I use guys the crafty secret <laughs> um, and it said love mail so this is the collection it's um, the vintage scrap I'm um, the creative scrap all right so in case you're interested and so this is the book guys first time I tried biting book like this and it's really fun I like that the book like it's really sturdy I don't have to be worried if the pages will fall off or anything and I think if you guys are interested there are book biting um, videos on YouTube too so um, I'm gonna check that out as well guys so um, thank you so much everyone for watching let me know what you think about my book and I really have a lot of fun making this and I hope I'll, I'll see you again soon bye bye mm -hmm.